Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates. The first one is about our 2019 Mr. Olympia, Brandon Curry, who, as you guys know, recently parted ways with his coach, Abdullah, and they worked together for pff, a long, long time, like 10 years or so. And in that podcast that Abdullah did, he said that Brandon Curry right now doesn't look any better than Chris Cormier right now, and that actually he is even smaller. Which was also the reason, basically, why Abdullah stopped working with Brandon. He thought that Brandon did not have a proper off-season, and that he lost a lot of muscle, and since they have trouble getting him in shape, it's not even worth it to start the prep 11 weeks out when he didn't have an off-season and he lost a lot of muscle. So they would have to grow and get lean at the same time, which is far from ideal, it can be done, but he probably won't look his absolute best, and Abdullah was uh, trying to get him to commit more, to send photos, to send updates, to do the Dubai Pro, to start prepping earlier, but Brandon didn't want to do it, and he decided to go to Kuwait at 11 weeks out, and Abdullah didn't want to uh, start working with him at that point, so... I was curious what Brandon actually looks like because Abdullah said that he doesn't look like he even lifts, that he looks much smaller, that he lost a lot of muscle, that he's not even lean. Now, we don't have a physique update. This photo is older, of course, but we got a video, a training video, in which we can kind of get an idea of where Brandon Curry truly is right now. In terms of size, at least. We can't really see the conditioning, but we can get an idea of what his size is right now and I gotta tell you, based on this video, I mean, yeah, he's not full-blown, he doesn't look like he did a really hard and good off-season to put on muscle, but saying that he looks like Chris Cormier, it was a bit of a stretch, so Brandon Curry did not lose all of his size, but you know what, maybe he was right about Brandon's legs, because take a look at his quads right here, do they look like Mr. Olympia worthy legs? I don't think so, they actually do look as I would imagine Chris Cormier's legs look right now, I mean, there is no, no vascularity, no fullness, no separation, nothing, no size even, and we know that like his legs, Brandon's legs are always a weak area for him, but right now they're kind of looking like he didn't even train them for some time. I mean, of course, as he starts prepping and pushing the gear and everything, he's gonna blow up, his legs are gonna get bigger and more vascular and just leaner and everything, but are they really gonna be very good to the point where he can be top 3 again? I don't know, maybe Abdullah was right, maybe he can do it, if he does it this way. If he had an off-season, I think he could have done a lot, because guys, last year he was 4th, after being hospitalized the night before. So that wasn't his best on stage, yet he was 4th place. He even managed to beat Andrew Jacked at this show. Could have he placed 3rd? If he was 100% on, if he didn't go to the hospital, could have he challenged Samson Dauda? I don't see it. I don't think so. Will he be able to beat even Andrew Jacked this year again? Can he beat Nick Walker? Can he beat guys like Nexilla and other newcomers? I mean, maybe Abdullah was onto something, maybe if he didn't do an off-season and he didn't progress his legs, or his legs end up looking even worse, even smaller, then maybe he's gonna be even out of top 5 this year. But then there is always that Kevin Levroni argument, he was prepping for only 4 months in a year, the rest of the year he was taking it completely off of bodybuilding, he would lose all of his muscle, way more than Brandon lost here. Take a look at Brandon, like, his upper body is still, you know, pretty big. It's not his usual size, his usual fullness and, and conditioning and everything, but, you know, he didn't lose that much. Kevin Levroni would lose way more, and then he would come back looking great. But I'm sure he would look even better if he had an off-season. However, can Brandon Curry come back and look uh, like last year? Is 11 weeks going to be enough for him to get ready to actually look big and full and conditioned and everything? I don't know, I don't know, it could be, it could be, we'll see, but Abdullah does not think that Brandon can do well, and for Brandon, who is a former Mr. Olympia, well means top 3, anything worse than top 3 is failure, for him, for somebody who is a Mr. Olympia, and as you can see right here, like, he didn't lose anything, like, he didn't lose body parts, 
It's not like Big Ramy situation where a bunch of muscle has melted. It's not like he has uh, midsection issues. I mean, he only has trouble with bringing the fullness in his legs, but it was always the issue. He had that issue when he won the Mr. Olympia. So if he's not 100%, it's a shame. And I understand what Abdullah was saying. Like, he didn't focus in the offseason and he could have made improvements and potentially, like, challenge the top three again. I think he could have done it, like, there is, everything is there, you know, all the muscle is there, he has the fullness, he has the roundness, he has the shape, very, very nice shape, I mean, days when he was beating Hadi are probably over, I don't see him beating Samson or Derek, but if one of those guys is off and Brandon is really on, he comes in huge, full, especially full in the legs and in decent condition, I mean, anything is possible, but will we see that this year from Brandon? Based on this video, based on the fact that we know that he didn't focus on the offseason, I don't know. I don't think so. But whatever you guys think, tell me down below. Alright, next up, we got an interesting update from Hari Chupan. Now, he posted his uh, hamstring straining and uh, he's doing a little bit of posing in the end. Now, if you guys remember, after he competed at the Mr. Olympia last year, Tyler Mannion's comment was one of the reasons why he lost the Mr. Olympia was because of the imbalance in his legs. One leg was significantly, or should I say noticeably, smaller than the other one, smaller enough that uh, Tyler noticed it and he commented on it. And I was wondering uh, during this offseason that maybe the atrophy that is happening to that one leg is gonna get worse. That the imbalance is gonna get much, much worse. And kind of seemed like that in a couple of photos. But now we actually have an update of Hadi's legs. So is there a glaring difference between these two legs? I think it's noticeable. The right leg does seem smaller. But it's not a big issue. It's definitely not a huge difference. I don't think this can prevent Hari from winning the Mr. Olympia. I mean, if it is extremely close between him and Derek, size, conditioning, completeness-wise, everything, muscularity, then I guess this imbalance can impact the result in the end. But I don't think it's that significant. It was also kind of noticeable when he was competing against Samson, and it didn't prevent him from winning there. So even though Samson is, like, in every sense, he's more aesthetic, he's more classic-looking, he has prettier lines, he doesn't have, like, you know, oil in shoulders, and, you know, he's a taller guy and everything, and there was that thing on top. Hadi's one leg was visibly smaller than the other one. It still wasn't enough for Hadi to lose. So why would it be enough against Derek? It doesn't make any sense. If anything, I think he may have even improved this weakness. I think now the difference is not this apparent. Maybe it's just because it's the off-season and we're not really that close to the show and he's not that conditioned and once he gets completely ripped, uh, the difference will be more noticeable, but I don't think so. I think here it was, it was more noticeable. And also, like, if Samson brings good conditioning, finally, a little bit better than here, Arnold UK, and actually comes in full, because here he was more conditioned than usual, but he was flat, he looked small. If he comes in blasting full, you know, huge, and conditioned, better than here, a little bit better than here, I mean, I can see him beating Hadi as well, but once again, Hadi's issue with the lag, it's not that noticeable this year, at this point, it's no, it's there, you can see it, but it's barely even visible, maybe it's better, maybe he actually focused more on improving one leg, I don't know, we'll see on stage, but even if it is the case, I don't think it should be the reason why he loses the show, I mean, I don't think last year that was the only reason, it was one of the things, sure, but, you know, it was close, this year, I think Hari is most likely gonna close that gap between him and Derek, but we'll see anything is possible, there's a couple of other guys who can actually, you know, defeat everybody, so it doesn't have to mean that it's gonna be Hadi versus Derek in the end, but as far as this issue, I don't think it's that much of a problem. And you know what, I'm over here talking about Derek versus Hadi, like that's necessarily going to be the top two, but maybe it's not gonna be like that, I do think Hadi is gonna be in the top two, but... I don't know about Derek, because here is an update of him, he is right now in Canada, he is traveling, promoting, he is sponsor, I guess, 
and here he's uh, doing this side chest with his coach honey rambert what i'm seeing right here pff, man I, it's not really that impressive i mean if regan grimes looked like this at this point i would be okay with it but Derek Lansford, our mr olympia it's not that impressive i mean in the off season he didn't look like he was progressing and he was traveling a lot doing a lot of promotion and even now at 11 weeks out yeah sure he's getting leaner but i mean look at his side chest like does he look any bigger he actually to me he looks even smaller than last year in the off season so is he gonna end up looking crazy on that stage crazy enough to win the mr olympia title i don't think so actually at this point i think i can say that derek lansford is possibly gonna drop out uh, of that top two even you know maybe he's gonna be third or fourth that's also possible you see the other guys like samson you know in kuwait trying to improve like a maniac the hard japan you know coming with vengeance uh nick walker who is driven like crazy in the entire year new talent coming like andrew jack and uh, nexilla and Derek is taking it easy so is he gonna be able to defend his not just his title but like his top two top three status i know that hunter hampton knows what he's doing but maybe it's Derek who doesn't want to give it 100 percent anymore maybe he's focused on staying healthier being there for his wife and his child and you know he's willing to do certain things but not everything in order to win and you know to be the best bodybuilder in the world it's usually not enough maybe things are gonna change maybe at eight weeks out or six weeks out he's gonna start looking crazy but i don't know man i mean i'm just not impressed i mean top three of the mr olympia <laughs> is insane achievement but we're talking about being the very best guy out of all those crazy freaks in the world right now i mean yeah i know he won last year but is he gonna do it again can he repeat uh, I don't think so. I think in my prediction video, I'm gonna have him probably like third or even fourth. Most likely third. But one and two, I don't see. I don't feel it, man. I don't know. If you feel otherwise, tell me down below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed yet, please, guys, just click the subscribe button. Thank you so much for that. And thank you for watching. See you soon, guys. All the best and bye-bye.